Robichaud and I have got an exhibition called Deliverance at Spring Studios. The first idea I got for the show was a um, picture I seen from Beslan, which is like uh, three or four years ago, and I knew those images were quite strong and for me quite potent because the media had quite a lot of time to set themselves up there, so you've got action unfolding as it happened. But also because the kids have been trapped in the gym and they're all in underpants, there was a lot of flesh, which kind of made it more disturbing and also made it a little bit more timeless because you didn't have Nike trainers and jeans as a reference point for fashion. And I found out that you could project images onto this phosphorescent paint and when the projection moved away, the images will still be retained on the wall, the light would actually burn itself uh, into the pigment. And to me, that was something like what happens with images that flash up in your mind and the residue of them is left in your brain as you think about them and then gradually they just fade from your memory. And there's something for me that was quite sad about that and quite dramatic, the way it hit your retina and then went into your brain and then was something that slowly dissipated and left. But also in the newspapers every day, which I read a lot of, on the internet, on TV, they're constantly coming at you, these images. It might not be an image of a terrorist incident like in Beslan. It could be somebody's gas cooker that's exploded or like an earthquake situation or a bomb in Bali, but there's consistently this barrage of images of people in disaster situations, people um, um, fleeing situations and running from the barrel of a gun into the barrel of a camera or whatever. So although it's upsetting, I think it kind of makes us feel more alive to experiences, to experience images like that. Action and distress, people in distress, yeah, I think we kind of like to see it because it it fuels us in a way, it gets us, gets us going. Yeah, there's an appetite for it.